Hello, welcome to Tim Anderson Horse Training. Today we're inside my, my new barn. We're supposed to get some bad weather today, so I'm going to be working on the stalls. I'll be building my divider walls and my outside walls on my stalls. We'll be ordering fronts for the front, so I won't be building anything on the front. So, what I have for material here, I have some metal channel. And what this is, this is inch and five eighths metal stud base channel. If you're familiar with metal studs, this is the channel that they bolt to the floor and then the metal studs go there. What my plan is, I'm gonna take this channel and I'm going to screw it on each side of my walls facing in and I'll drop my boards down there to make my divider walls. So I have two by six treated, and my plan is to put probably the first three on the bottom treated, and then two by six untreated, I'll come on up. On my outside walls, I'm gonna do basically the same thing. I'm not sure, my, my divider walls, I know I'm gonna come up about six feet. My outside walls, I'm not sure how high I wanna come up. I know I wanna come up at least like kick pipe, somewhere around three to four feet. I really don't have a reason to come up any higher. So I'm thinking I'm probably gonna stop somewhere around a, a four foot height. But then I'm having the deal of what am I gonna do at the top? Put a board on top, or I'm thinking about maybe cut a board in the angles and put a little angle board. I'm not really sure. I'll build that up and then I'll, I'll go from there. So I have, that will cut the blade to go with my chop saw that I'll cut the channel with. I have a, a wood blade for my chop saw that I'll cut the wood with. And what my plan is, I'll start on the far end down there and do one of those complete and see how I like it. And that way I might make some adjustments and then after that when I see exactly how I want it to go, then I'll probably cut all my channel and have it ready and screw all the channel up. Then cut the wood. That way I don't have to keep changing my blade back. Uh, so let's get started. We'll see how it goes. First thing I want to do is put my metal cutting blade in my chop saw. First thing I want to do is put my metal cutting blade in my chop saw. It is unplugged. Right on a couple fingers off. I've already taken the old blade out. The first thing I want to do, I set my saw here intentionally, I want to take one of those two bys and screw it up across here to support this end while I'm cutting my wood. Okay, 
left-handed, but some of these tools are awkward to me. I want to use them all left-handed. Don't always work good. Okay, so this is one stall almost complete. My exterior walls, I'm just going to bring up this high. Um, I can't think of a reason why I would need to bring them up any higher. We'll see. I'm thinking about how I'm going to finish the top right here. If you notice on this side, let me move my camera so you can see. If you notice on this side, I have these one bias with this angle cut across the top. I'm going to put this on all the sides, but I don't think I'm going to use a one by like this. I think I want to use a deck board like you'd use on a, on a wood deck. Uh, they have rounded corners, so the, the, the corners would be rounded. And also, I want to use a different screw. I want to use like a deck kind of screw so I can recess it in just a little bit. And uh, I cut this angle on the top. What I'm thinking about is taking a one by six or one by eight and, cut, and putting it right here on an angle. I think that make I, I think that finish off the top nice. I don't think I want to put a flat. I think that's just gonna dust is gonna let collect and it's just gonna not look as good. I think that angle is gonna look a little bit better. I'm sure it'll collect dust, but maybe not quite as bad. But I'll put boards like this all the way around. Uh, but I, like I said, I'm going to use deck boards instead of these. So I'll put two on this wall and then two on that wall. My wall in between the saws, I went on and brought it up about six feet. My wall in between the stalls here, I went on and brought it up about six feet. The board's got a warp in it. It's kind of warped up. That's why there's a gap here down on both sides. I don't, I can probably pull it down when I put my strips down the sides. Uh, what that's going to do, right now, the boards have some play in them. And if you pushed hard enough, you could probably bow it enough that it would come out from the strap. But once I put my strips down, that's going to secure it all in place. And if a horse does kick, instead of one board absorbing the impact of the kick the whole wall will. And that, that should solid it up real good. This wall over here, this wall over here is pretty solid. It's got a little bit of give to it, which I want some give if a horse kicks it. I don't want it to be like kicking 
piece of concrete or something, I want some give. But the whole wall is going to absorb the impact of the kick. So I, I like what I got going on here. And we'll take those vertical strips and put them on both sides. So that's one saw done. I got quite a few more to go. And I'll keep plugging away at it. Until next time, thank you for watching.